Okay, welcome back uh, for part two of my room tour. So, continue on. You guys can actually check out the video. Uh, I mean, not the video, but the, <laughs> the the pictures, more pictures. And I actually have some of the Yu-Gi-Oh cards, like the Eye of Truth right there. And I got, um, I actually printed out some of the, most of all the curvy forms and everything like that. Like Plasma Curvy, Ice Curvy. Flame, fire curvy, hammer curvy, uh, cook curvy, uh, I think that's the magician curvy right there with the, with the hat, and ninja curvy, fighter curvy, uh, yo-yo curvy, bomb curvy, mic curvy, uh, rocket curvy, and painter curvy, or paint curvy, and I don't think this one really existed, uh, the angel curvy, but it actually came up with uh, the rest of the um, images because out of all the Kirby games I actually played, he never actually, they actually never gave him an angel Kirby form, but it actually came up on the Google search. But then, this is Stone Kirby. Uh, King Mickey from Kingdom Hearts, he's actually one of my favorite, my favorite character from the Kingdom Hearts games. Uh, Ghost Kirby, that was another form that I didn't ever see before. Um, Spark Kirby. And UFO Kirby, you got Phoenix Wright, you got Axel and Spike Kirby, and Mario from Super Mario Galaxy. I got that from the Game of Former. And I actually have some of the, I have the red, the red, orange, blue, and green Koopa Bros from Paper Mario 64. Um, let me see, go back over here. <laughs> uh, Ness, Lucas, and Jonas from Earthbound, another Earthbound picture, Saturn with Ness, got the Max Payne picture, and the Star Fox team, Crystal Fox, Slippy, Falco, and Peppy's not in there for, for no for some reason, he's not on the picture, but I don't know why. Uh, we also have some of the, pretty much all the bosses from the Mega Man games, like Mega Man 7, Mega Man, uh, Mega Man 9, I think it was. Pretty much all the bosses from the class of Mega Man games all combined. As you can see, like, uh, Mega Man's in the middle right there. So, that's cool. And CM Punk, I'm a big fan of WWE. And actually, as you saw from my first part, uh, I had, like, John Cena and Batista. But those are the ones I pretty much, I, I got from, like, the WWE uh, SmackDown vs. Raw. I think that was 2007, the two, uh, 2007 video game. But, uh... I'm a big wrestling fan, and I don't actually hate anybody in the wrestling series, but I actually like to uh, watch the show. I know it's fake, but I actually watch it for uh, entertainment purposes. So I actually have, like, the link. I have all the links actually lined up from pretty much from the back when it started. But actually, let me go close the door so I won't actually get any interference from outside because there's so much noise. Because I know you guys can actually hear the TV in the background. So I actually... Going back to what I said, sorry about that. I actually got all the links from back when it first started. From I'm gonna get closer. Uh, let me see. Yeah, from 1987, the first Legend of uh, Zelda. Uh, you have the Adventure of Link from 1988, A Link to the Past, as you can see, and Link's Awakening, the Oracle of Ages, Oracle. Slash Oracle of Seasons, Majora's Mask, uh, Ocarina of Time, and I actually skipped that on. I wasn't paying attention to the camera, but this is the Link's Awakening, uh, and then the Link to the Past. Where is it? Here it is. <laughs> uh, Link's Awakening, and then Ocarina of Time, and then right there, and then Majora's Mask from back in the day. One of pretty much pretty most people actually play the game. I didn't play all these Zeldas. I only actually play uh, Wind Waker and Ocarina of the Time. Those are the only ones I actually play. Majora's Mask, and I actually got this from uh, the gamers, the uh, the Game Informer uh, magazines. Wind Waker. And that's just another Majora's Mask picture. Uh, Link Four Swords, uh, Four Swords Adventure. Uh, let me go around because I should get on the bed to actually. Get the rest of the videos. Whoa, that's <laughs> the But uh, Wind Waker and Four Swords. You got Twilight Princess and then another Four Swords adventure. Uh, and then the Skyward Sword, which was the newest one yet. 
that's cool. So those are all the ones that all the Zeldas from pretty much from back when it first started and everything like that. Some of the consoles and everything, all the console pictures. Uh, some of my favorite gaming companies like Rockstar, Sega, Miss America from the uh, JRPGs from my favorites. Like the Disgaea series, Bethesda and Bungie, who makes the Halo games, uh, the Tales of Graces, and more Mega Man, Mega Man pictures, and another picture right there. The game is not a crime; it really isn't. Uh, Ape Escape, and Jimmy from Ape Escape Two, and then K from Ape Escape Three, and then Tales of Graces picture from Asbel, the main character in the story. Uh, some Bomberman Generation. Uh, Kara Bombs, I actually remember that game. I actually never got a chance to beat it, and I kind of lost the game, so I don't have that. And there's my phone actually charging, and a voice in the background. Uh, another Kara Bomb, I actually don't remember all the Kara Bombs and everything like that. Uh, Banjo Kazooie picture, and a Gamer Dog Tag picture right here. That's my actually my phone charging right there in the corner. So, and I actually have it on silent, so no one can actually contact me and kind of cause a distraction and then the uh, Chrono Trigger poster I actually got from uh, the Chrono Trigger uh, DS game it actually comes with the poster when you uh, get the game for uh, Nintendo DS and I actually played that game it was it was it was kind of short but it was still a good game to me and everything like that and I still actually enjoyed it and everything like that and pretty much the other characters are pretty much self-explanatory and some of these characters people will probably recognize from People uh, from that's big on the Final Fantasy series. That's Orin from uh, Final Fantasy X, Kratos, uh, Shepard from Mass Effect, and then the Mario Bros. and Toad riding a Yoshi blowing a bubble. Uh, one of those question mark clouds from I think from Yoshi Yoshi's Island for Game Boy Advance, the Wii U picture, and pretty much the flying Mario that you guys can actually see with his squirrel outfit. I think I want to say. And then you have Connor from Assassin's Creed, uh, Fallout New Vegas, that was a great game, one of my favorites. Uh, Master Chief, and then Yu-Gi-Oh! Cars, Graceful Cherry, and uh, Scapegoat. And I kind of put those up there because they were kind of holographing and stuff like that, and I thought those were pretty nice because I also used to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, card game series, but I don't play it anymore because they kind of changed the rules. But I wouldn't compete in tournaments, I just kind of would play for like, <coughs> excuse me, but <laughs> I would actually just kind of play the game with uh, my friends and just get together with them and just play around and just kind of mess around with the game and stuff like that and just play for fun but I wouldn't go to like the uh, competitive tournaments or just go to the tours and everything and just kind of find duelists to actually compete against or just play against so you got Cole from Infamous, uh, Agent 47 from Hitman and some of the consoles from back in the day the PSP and some of the pictures kind of got messed up because um, back in the day when the actually when the wind would blow, it actually would flap the pictures and stuff, so they kind of got messed up. Um, more console pictures, and I already said the dog tab, the gamer, uh, pretty much the Star, uh, the Star Wolf team. You got Pigma. It was kind of I got this off of Google though. It it, it was kind of funny, and I actually kind of picked it, uh, decided to put it on my wall and everything. You got Panther, Star Wolf, Pigma, and Leon. From the uh, Star Wolf team. Just another silly picture. Uh, the Gex picture. I was a big fan of that game. I still actually have the games and actually play them, beat them all. I just didn't really like the first one though. You got Wario World, the picture. And pretty much all the people from Donkey Kong 64. Uh, going back up. You got Leon from Resident Evil Pikachu. And some of the old... The newest Pokemon to the, uh, the uh, I think it was Pokemon Black and White, as I believe. But I didn't play those other Pokemon games because I actually kind of stopped playing it. And you got King DDD from uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn. More pictures, Duke Nukem. Uh, Zelda. You got a Zelda picture with Link and both the Sonics from Sonic Generations. Donkey Kong. More kind of other consoles and pictures like that. You got Nero and... Dante and everything like that and all this other pictures and more Mega Man's pretty much everything from the Mega Man games combined in one picture I know you guys can't pretty much see everything in the picture but you can kind of see some of the enemies and some of the bosses and 
some of the friends combined and everything. It's pretty much, I think it's every enemy in the Mega Man games, as I believe. I think that was it, but I don't know. But, um, kind of the Mega Man powered up, um, uh, pictures and everything like that. And this fan is kind of in the way. So I'm going to actually move this out the way. Because it was kind of messing up my little angle of the camera, so... Let's see, any others? You got Kirby, you got Sackboy from Little Big Planet, uh the Mario doll. I actually like that and I actually got it from Game Crazy back when it uh used to be open still and actually got like a bonus. I forgot what it was from though. I think it was like pre ordering one of the games, but I don't really remember though. I actually still like this because it's actually my favorite the little Mario money. The little Mario doll that's pretty cool. And Duke Nukem, as I said, and other pictures, so I'm actually gonna cut it, but I know I was actually gonna put like the uh, games and actually show you guys my games, but I'm actually gonna show them off in the next part for sure, as promised.